Hey folks, it's Dr. Sam and we are at week four. I wanted to talk to you a minute about long swings, circle relaxation, and the yin-yang chart. One of the reasons why I really like the long swings is that it's an opportunity for you to grow your peripheral vision because movement stimulates periphery. And sometimes if we stimulate our peripheral vision too quickly, it can make us a little disoriented or dizzy or nauseous. And so if you're doing the exercise where you're swinging from side to side, my suggestion would be just to slow it down, make sure you're aware of your breathing, feel your feet. And I like to do something called the double current, which means I'm feeling my feet and the top of my head both at the same time while I'm doing my swings. It's important to take a break after you do the swings and go into the open attention because this can help you integrate the expansion of the peripheral vision. The circle relaxation is an exercise where I'm asking you to converge your eyes. And this is an exercise where you're bringing both eyes into your midline. The midline is such an important orientation point. You know, we start developing our midline in utero and it starts as the, first of all, the notochord and then it becomes the spinal cord. And one of the issues that people have is they've never learned how to bring both sides of their body to the middle. And of course, the eyes reflect on a fine motor level, tiny muscle level, small level, the reflection of the big muscles not going into the midline as well. So convergence is that skill set of teaching you how to bring both sides into the midline. And when you do that, there's a sense of peace. There's a sense of, of orientation that you're in your center point. All right, the last exercise is called the yin-yang chart. And this is a soft focus exercise. We're asking you to look through the the paper generating the looking from the back of your head where the visual cortex is on a skill set level this is called divergence so circle relaxation is convergence divergence is the yin yang chart now divergence means that my two eyes are able to stay connected but they're able to hold a broader vision they're able to look in a parallel fashion way into the distance but they're staying connected to each other. Because of our digital time, we've lost the ability to diverge our eyes. If we go back to before the Industrial Revolution, for example, it was easier for us to go into divergence because we were always looking into the distance and we weren't spending all of our time at 12 to 14 inches. So best of luck for week four. I'm really excited to hear the changes you've made. And uh, that's it for now. Take care.